deserts, the driest places on Earth, covering more than a fifth of all the world's landmass, as dangerous to life as the highest peak or the coldest glacier. But in these harsh and barren wastelands, nature endures. The people have lived in the desert since the beginning of time. Resilient and resourceful, they have developed unique cultures and deep spiritual bonds with these arid lands. But the modern world of commerce and industry is encroaching on the desert, claiming its resources, changing the delicate balance of life. Now, more than ever, desert people must adapt to survive. This series tells their story of struggle and endeavor, of humanity's continuing relationship with the most challenging places on Earth. breathtaking landscapes on Earth. Covering more than a million and a half square kilometers, the Gobi is the largest desert in Asia. Vast tracts of which have been barely touched by man. In the summer, temperatures can reach a scorching 40 degrees Celsius. Winter, they fall to 40 below. Surviving here means keeping one step ahead of nature. It also means learning to live and love a landscape that looks to be the most forbidding on Earth. Nowhere else do animals and humans have to depend on each other so completely to survive. But there's change on the horizon. A new Mongolia is emerging. With one eye on untold riches, it's becoming a place of those who stand to gain and those who stand to lose. This is the Gobi, as it may never be seen again. From a distance, the Gobi seems to be one of the most inhospitable places on Earth. But if you look behind the dunes and into the valleys, the Gobi is home to nomadic farmers who, like their forefathers, have farmed the desert for nearly 10,000 years. Nomadic farming is the only life Aiditsa and Adilbish and his family have ever known. They know that the key to surviving in the desert is to keep working and keep moving, taking their animals with them. <laughs> Wherever they are, every day starts the same way. Once Iditsurun's wife Gamma has milked the herd, she prepares a traditional breakfast of seasoned camel milk. Come on. 
Харьяса бол гай буга. The family also keeps goats and sheep for wool and meat. In herder's terms, these animals are just about the same as a pocket full of cash. Just as nomadic families have developed a unique way of life, they've also developed special ways of communing with their creatures. Only a few hours ago, this ewe gave birth to two newborn lambs. Aiditsran's family believe this ancient form of singing will stimulate spiritual and physical healing and encourage the lambs to suckle. It's an extraordinary relationship and shows just how much each one depends upon the other. But the family's dependence is heaviest on the most powerful animal they keep. The camel is the only means the farmers have to move their families and homes across the desert. No matter how harsh the weather, the camel always gets them to where they need to be. Keeping the herd healthy is key to the survival of Aiditsuran and his family. Sometimes they must leave the animals for days in the search for water. And while the camel looks to be docile, it can also be stubborn. Aiditsuran uses a traditional tool to rein it in. And today, the youngest in the herd must undergo a painful rite of passage. Aiditsuran knows the animal's suffering is a necessary evil. Without the nose pin, he would struggle to lead the herd to the very water source that keeps them alive. <laughs> Today, Aiditsuran is taking his camels to a waterhole he last visited eight months ago. The camel has an inbuilt early warning system for when it's thirsty. The first sign of dehydration is when its humps become floppy. Although these animals are legendary for being able to withstand desert conditions, they must drink fresh water regularly. And in winter, they depend on Iditsaram to find it. <laughs> What seems like an ordinary moment is really very precious. Aiditsran has made sure that his beloved camels will survive, at least for the next 10 days. It means peace of mind for the whole family. Tonight, in their tented home called a Gur, they can relax and watch the news in the company of a rather unusual audience. But there's one family member who's absent. Over 1,400 kilometers away, Aiditaran's brother Biamba is also relaxing in his Gur, set in a very different landscape. Be a dog is 
нөгөө ээлжнийхээ залуутай хоёулах нь амьдэрдэг. Biamba is one of an increasing number of young Mongolian men who've chosen to turn their back on herding and embrace the life of a miner. Mongolia is being rocked by the biggest resource boom ever seen. And its epicenter is here, 80 kilometers north of the Chinese border at Oyu Toltoy, where mining giant Rio Tinto is building what's predicted to become the third largest gold and copper mine in the world. And the Mongolian government has negotiated itself a 34% stake in the project. It believes that this is Mongolia's best chance at lifting itself out of poverty. Vice President of the mine, Sanj Samanda, shares this vision. Every day, Sanj gets up close and personal